Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a highly requested tutorial for y'all today and it's on this look that I'm wearing right here. So this is the look that I was wearing in my Wet n Wild Fall 2016 Autumn Rush Collection video and a lot of y'all seem to really enjoy it and ask for a tutorial so I've got this look for you today. And it's using a lot of different products from that collection. So both of the trios, one of the liquid lipsticks, and then one of the colored mascaras and then a couple other things from the drugstore. So yeah, it's just kind of like a really dramatic fall sort of a look. So I really enjoy it because I love dark dramatic makeup. I love like, you know, just deep colors and jewel tones. So it's kind of involving all those things. So I really enjoy it. You guys seem to really like it since so many of you requested it. So yeah, if you want to see how to get this look, then let's get to it. Okay, I'm going to start with some primer today. I'm using my Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. And then since these palettes really don't have a transition color, I'm gonna use my bronzer. This is my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in just bronzer. And I'm gonna get some of this on a Sedona Lace EB15 brush and just apply this into my crease and transition area as a shadow. And I'm going to get my Plaid to the Bone Trio, and I'm going to get some of this top shade here on a concealer brush. This is from Sigma, and I'm dropping it. <laughs> and I'm just going to pat this and build this up on my lid. And I'm kind of going like two-thirds of the way over. And then to intensify that shade, I'm going to apply it wet with some MAC Fix Plus. Now I'm going to take my Velour Vixen Trio and I'm going to get some of this kind of like plummy cranberry burgundy wine <laughs> sort of a color and just gonna apply this into my outer corner and just blend that over into my crease. And I am bringing this over a little bit further just because I do want to kind of see that cranberry kind of showing in my crease, but I don't want it to like overtake the eye look. And you can go back in with your blending brush if you feel like you need to blend a little bit. And then for a little bit more intensity, I'm going to get some of this darkest shade right here on that same crease brush. I'm just going to apply that right into my outer corner, but don't bring this over very far at all. And I'm just applying a little bit more of my lid shade just to bring back that vibrancy. take some of this lightest shade from Velour Vixen on just a Pure Cosmetics eyeshadow brush. I'm losing my voice. And apply that as my brow bone highlight. And now I'm going to tight line and line my upper lash line with my L'Oreal Infallible Never Fail Eyeliner in Black. And for my lower lash line, I'm going to line with my Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil in Ocean. And I'm going to go over that with this beautiful duochrome shade using my Sedona Lace EB21 brush. I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. Today I'm using my CoverGirl The Super Sizer on my upper lash line. And then for my lower lash line, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Color Icon Color Mascara. And this is in the green one, which is... I don't know. <laughs> I'll list it down below for you. And 
Then I am going to apply a little bit of my super sizer just to kind of on the outer corners of my lower lash line on my lashes just because I want a little bit more definition there. Okay, so moving on to the rest of my face. So I've already applied foundation, concealer, powder, and brows. So now for bronzer, I'm going to take my physician, my physician formula, butter bronzer in bronzer, and I'm going to bronze up my face, do a little bit of contouring using my Sedona Lace FB05 and my Delium Tools 992. blush today I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Rose Champagne and I'm applying it with just a MAC like angled contour blush brush something or other. And then for a little bit more added color I'm going to use just a pop of apricot in the middle just kind of right on the apples of my cheeks and blending back. And then finally, I'm going to line my lips with my Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Plush Plum and then fill them in with my Wet n Wild Color Icon Matte Liquid Lipstick in Don't Be a Plum Plum. Alright guys, so that's a finished looking tutorial, so I hope that you really enjoyed it. Please hit a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you think about this collection. What are you enjoying kind of combining together? I always love hearing your thoughts and opinions. Ask me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!